Welcome, collectors. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Diecast Emporium. We are zoomed all the way out because today we're going to be reviewing a massive 1 16th scale model. This is the Diecast Masters fully functioning 1 16th scale Freightliner Cascadia RC tractor. This is available now, and soon this will have a 1 16th scale low boy trailer that you can hook up to the back via the working and locking fifth wheel. Now we got a glimpse of the Diecast Masters RC trailer, uh, the low boy trailer at the 2020 Nuremberg Toy Fair, but of course because of Corona and everything else, it has been delayed, but I just checked with my contacts and my friends at Diecast Masters. That trailer is coming, so very shortly you'll not only have the Western Star Dump Truck RC that I previously reviewed, the Cat Excavator, the Diecast one that I previously reviewed, and now obviously the Freightliner Cascadia Cab, but then you'll have the full set. You'll have the low boy to haul around your excavator, and once it gets to the job site, you'll have the dump truck to take away the material. So very quickly, Diecast Masters is a man is amassing quite the large RC lineup, and this is yet again another step in that direction. With that out of the way, we've already got the truck out of the box because the box is massive just like the model, but suffice to say, it's a very similar style box that the Western Star truck came in, and that is of course the uh, clear window style packaging. It does come with a instructional sheet which goes over the functions of the remote control as well as how to place the battery into both the controller as well as the bottom of the truck. So let's fire this truck up real quick. Here's the remote, which of course you have to place the two provided batteries into the back. You will need a screwdriver to undo it, but once you do that, it's pretty simple. So let's fire up the remote and the truck. There we go. We've got our engine running. This truck does feature working lights and sounds, so we've got our engine on. Now, the truck is turning, and as you can hear, it has the turn indicator sounds. Now it's turning in the other way. Let's move the truck facing you so you can get a better appreciation for that. Now check this out. Right here you can see the right side indicator light flashing. And now you can see the left side indicator light flashing along with the sound. Obviously, you can see the headlights on as well, along with the running lights on the bumper, as well as the lights up top here. On the opposite end of things, now the left side light is blinking. Now the right side light is blinking. Really cool that they built not only the indicator sound, but the flashing lights as well. All right, so you know the truck steers, you know it has an engine running sound. It also has a reverse sound. Only this axle is driven and has a motor, but that's really all you need because it's quite powerful and this truck will move without an issue, even with some weight back here. And now here's the sound it makes when the truck is traveling forward. see it takes off at quite a good amount of speed in either direction so it's quite powerful back here is your fifth wheel and I told you that this is programmable and functioning on the actual remote here's your horn by the way helped along by the top right side trigger now we've turned the truck off for the engine sound since we're done with that this is your fifth wheel, as I've said before. These spaces right here are reserved for the trailer plug-in for your lights and stuff, so that's where you would plug that in once the trailer becomes available. Let's completely turn off our rig so we can start on the details. Here's your on-off switch, which you'd have to switch on to use the truck, as well as the on-off switch on the controller. Down here is where you would keep your rechargeable battery. You have to push down and forward on these two knobs while simultaneously unscrewing this, and that's where your rechargeable battery sits. I found from a fully depleted battery, it takes about an hour and 15 minutes or so to charge. 
This is your USB charging stick, and you can put this in your laptop computer or your desktop computer, and that's what charges your battery. Again, taking a look at the chassis of the truck, you can see that there's a different tread pattern on the front wheels versus the rear wheels. On the back of the truck, you have your Freightliner mud flaps, along with some DOT striping here. Diamond plated texturing at the top here, along with some nice wiring leading towards the functioning and locking fifth wheel. And again, once the trailer comes in, guys, I'm going to take this truck outside along with the excavator. We're going to play along with the trailer, see how it locks in, load the excavator on. We're going to have a lot of fun once we have all the pieces to the puzzle whenever they arrive. On the other side of the truck, you can see the casted in detail of the sleeper cab, the access stairs, the door latch, the chrome mirrors. Also, important to note that none of the doors or hood is functional on this model, but that's okay with me. We'll turn around the truck to the front facing you guys, and that's really where it has the most famous marquee mark of the Freightliner Cascadia. The chrome bumper, the Freightliner badge right here, and again, not only your side mirrors, but also your hood mirrors as well, also done up very nicely in chrome. So, that will conclude my review on the Diecast Masters Freightliner Cascadia RC Tractor. Again, this is a very large model in 1 16th scale. I think it's going to be even that much better once we finally have the low boy trailer. And again, if you guys have not seen the prototype images of the low boy trailer, you can find them on YouTube. You can find them on Google. Just type in Diecast Masters RC low boy trailer. That trailer is specifically designed to work with the fifth wheel here in 1 16th scale. So it will be great to see how it looks hooked up and also with the CAT uh, RC excavator, particularly the higher end die cast, uh, the actual all die cast RC excavator when that comes out. But as far as that's concerned, it's very affordable. I like to say when we talk about RC models or the RC market as a whole, uh, obviously the, the adult higher end portion of it can get pretty expensive. You can easily spend several thousands of dollars just on one RC truck, for example, uh, if you look at some of the Tamiya offerings in 114 scale, for example. So this, which costs you right now just shy of $240, I think it's very affordable for almost anyone coming into the RC hobby. So if you're like me and you come from a die-cast background and you're just dabbling into the RC market, uh, I think it's very affordable. And I think you, it's something you can have a lot of fun with, particularly if you have... Uh, different collectors from all age brackets and you just want to take this to the park and have a little bit of fun with it because of the high durable plastic that it's made with to me it seems like it would take some punishment and again i think this truck as great as it is by itself will even come into its own that much more once we have that trailer to put the excavator on it until next time i'm tommy with diecast emporium thank you all so much for watching if you're interested in seeing the diecast masters rc western star dump truck Check out the link at the screen right now. If you're interested in seeing the Diecast Masters Cat Excavator that I reviewed also, there will be a link to that on your screen as well. Until next time, take care and be safe. I'll see you in the next review.